Actually, this part of the presentation is quite interesting. And that's the most uh, differentiation part of the Bada platform and compared with any other platform. And that's it's about the service on the Bada. So I'll quickly run through the, the content of my presentation today. So I have a very simple three sections. The first one, I will give you a little bit overview of what kind of a mobile application trend at the moment. And so we can grab the idea how is the mobile application and towards to the next year. And then we dive into a little bit detail and what's the services uh, provided on the Bada platform. And then we have a short summary, okay? <coughs> so let's start from the mobile application train. This picture shows a latest study from a researching company called Nelson. And they made a study based on the 4,000 users and downloading app, number of downloading applications within the last three, uh, 30 days. And they categorize them on the different categories. And if you see the chart, at most interesting category you can see I highlight here is the social networking, news and weather, and maps, and location-based application. So those categories are more or less are related with the server side. So you need to have a server to be able to develop those type of applications and de uh, deliver your content to the end user. And another researching is done by the Garten, and they predicted in the 2012, so the category of the mobile application is going to be very popular was listing here. So the application needs to have a server, deliver content, and to deliver the user experience. So what I'm trying to say here, that currently the mobile application are not anymore focused on the device. It's not just like you're playing your features on the device. It has a very uh, large requirement of demanding on the server side, a cloud storage and a server that you can deliver constantly the user content, and you can have a social networking, a sharing communication between the devices and users. So that's the trend we predicted on the mobile application in the next future. And more or less, that's the feature I'm going to talk about today on Bada platform, how Bada can meet this requirement and gave you the opportunity to write application and communicate with the server and make your mobile application standing out among those massive other platforms or number of downloads and really getting the revenue and dive into this ecosystem. So let's see what kind of uh, feature maps Bada have. So there's a lot of uh, features Bada provided. But if you can see the highlighted ones are really the features marking the trend that I mentioned previously. And that's the Bada service we provide to our developers and to utilize the Samsung service and to write more feature-rich uh, application. So let's see a little bit details how those uh, service works in Bada. We have this location service, kind of providing you uh, a location-based application, getting your current location using the GPS. We also have a social service running on the Bada. As Gave you some ex, uh, integrate with the external uh, social network service such as Twitter and Facebook, and they also have you the, the opportunity to manage your own uh, bodies and manage the relationship on the Samsung device. And there are also content service, so that's the part like you can transfer and downloading the content and sharing them on the cloud. And also a very interesting the commerce service. So you can do the in-app uh, purchasing and the, the billing functions on, for this uh, type of uh, service. And also we have some new features on the Bada 2.0. It's the push service. That allows you to have a more uh, a nice and easy to use experience like when you get uh, any new notification and indicate the user you have new service available. And also the most interesting one, we also have this advertisement service. So now you can host the, uh, post the advertisement on your application and get the revenue share. So all those services actually, how they've been implemented or deployed on the Bada platform, is all combined with the Bada server. So Samsung 
invested a lot on the server side. We deployed a global server, allow the Bada user, Bada developers to accessing those services, like at least they're here. And what you need to do is just using the simple Bada API, and you don't need to worry about or your own server or load distribution or availability from different countries. So all these type of global service are managed by Samsung and delivered to our end user and developers. So let's look at a little more details and what type of features you can have from the each of this service. So location service. The first things you can do is that you have your current location received from the GPS or the wireless position system. And you can have your point of interest management on the Bada platform. And you also can have this uh, routing service and direction service of, as kind of searching service interacting with the map on, the, on your application. So I will have a short demo for an application we built in-house and give you a brief idea how those kind of uh, location service can be used in the application. So can I have the video? Okay, this application called Tweetbread. And what it does is actually using all those service, uh, location service functions available from Bada. And that's one is the logging process. So all the Bada user has to log in their uh, user account to be able to access those service. Currently it's loading the current position. So we can find that uh, the blue dot means uh, you have the local uh, current location. That's is near the MWC show in Barcelona. And when you zoom in this map, it's showing you this red point, the point of interest are preloaded on your map and retrieving from this battle server. And those kind of uh, blue lines indicating the routes and the paths you have along with this different type of point of interest. And it's kind of show you uh, what is the type of uh, point of interest are. For example, you can see the loading page is retrieving the information from the server side and gave you the name of the interesting point, some descriptions, and all these things can be controlled by the developer, okay? And the things can be sharing between other user of this location information, the landmarks. Okay, uh, yeah, I think that's it. Okay, so now you have to see a little bit more demo of this Tripper application. Actually, if you want to see how it works on the real device, you can go to the booth uh, hall 8, so we have uh, the real device demonstration here. Because today we got a little bit clouded uh, network, we can't really show it on the device. So let's, let's see, have a little recap, what kind of things have been done using the location service on that particular app. The first one is see the blue dot is the current location, getting from the GPS or the, wild, uh, the wireless position system. And then you have this geocoding service, which means like it translates your coordinates the, the number of the coordinates, the readable address. Like showing here is, is uh, the, uh, this one is the uh, readable, human readable address from the soul. And then the next thing you can do is the map control. So you can display the map, overlay it on your application, and have an interaction with the map. So you can allocate the point of interest and join the routes graphically on the map. So the user can click and pan zoom this map. So this is the Actually, the features really from the Bada server you can do for the location. And a little more service you can do is the directory service. So okay, you can request from the Bada server, say, I want to find the route from point A to point B. And the server will return to you a, a serious number of coordinates and draw this kind of uh, the path for you. And a little bit more interesting features that related is the social part. So you can storage your location, the landmark information on the server and build up a sharing mechanism between the user. And this Tripper app will start to actually, it means I found a very interesting route in the Barcelona when I travel this city, and I, I, I create my own landmarks, and I storage them on the server, and my friend can see, oh, that's the trip that have been visit Barcelona, and that's the really nice restaurant or nice museum my friend has been visit. So I can retrieve all those information, and maybe I can use it for my own trip. So this is really the server side features we provided for you. Okay, so the next service, the social service. So what so social service can do is that the mesh app is the external uh, server, uh, social network provider. So you can have your Facebook friend integrate 
with your device, uh, with, with your other application, or Twitter friends or MySpace. And one more really interesting thing is on the 2.0 platform is the live logging. So what the live logging do is that the storage, the user activities on the device, and then you can analyze those activities by utilizing those uh, the live logging APIs and find out what the user doing with the device and sharing those information. So I will give you another small and sweet demo called Asaya. So we also build another uh, another demo application to show you how the social service can work on Bada. So can I have a video? So the Asaya application is what it does is it's analyze those storage activities on the device and it's pulling out those content by the category. So the first one is all, again, you have to log in, this login process. And once you log in, this application will release all these kind of memories. The memories is actually the activities you have on your device. It shows you what's the latest friend you can contact, and what's the latest photos you've been taken on the device, and what's the latest music you've been listening. And those, device, those information can be utilized by your application. So this is really a fantastic uh, features that you can build to your social application. You don't need to worry about where you got those social content. So when you, when you do this, uh, create the memory, you can have this kind of uh, privacy settings. You can share this publicly or share it with your friend or only keep your own memory. So as you can see here, it's about the, uh, the latest person you contact Mark. And they have uh, all this information related with the person. And that's the latest photo you have or reviewed on the device. You can write a small comments on this one, and then share it with your friend. Okay? And you also can comment your friend's content. And if you're retrieving those information from the Bada server. Okay, um, can I go back to the slide? Yes, so that's the application say I uh, was utilize the social features on the Bada. Again, let's have a look how this say application is built on the Bada. First one is LifeLog. I mentioned life logs are really a nice features for Bada 2.0. So you can gather in those activities and use by your own application. And you can have all this full privacy settings. So you don't need to worry about your, app, your content will be infringed or leaked to the non, uh, person you don't know. OK, the third one is the content service. So as you may know, currently, the mobile application is really about how to distribute, uh, how to manage the content. People talking about the cloud storage. On Avada, we also have this uh, service. So what the, con uh, the content service has is the cloud storage, which we utilize the Amazon S3 server. So your physical contents are not storage on the Samsung server. So that really gives you a very good privacy. So Samsung will not uh, obtain your own content. We only obtain those kind of metadata. So what type of content you have, and what is the, uh, how large is your content? Is it music type or the video type? So we only capture those kind of metadata. We allow them to share in those metadata and search in them. And then the physical content will be fetching from the Amazon S3 server. And we also have, uh, so we have another uh, content distribution service on the SEIA that you see uh, previously. So as I mentioned, those activities or those pictures you took, this can be stored in the cloud or stored in the device. So if you store it in the cloud, and you can have the sharing mechanism. And you can also have your friend downloading your application using the service called Content Transfer. So the, last, uh, the, uh, the fourth one is the push service. So as you know, the mobile device are you been carrying all the day, and you can't like just uh, put out your device and see what happens. So always would be nice if something happen to you or something comes to be delivered to you and you know it immediately. So the push service does this for you. So what the push service can do is like the push the news or push the um, uh, social network content like your friend have a latest tweet or have a latest status text being, being writing on their wall and those things will be all pushed on your device if you follow them. And also the games, so you can share it, have this game service to push you the the new high score or new games available. So this one all through the Bada server and pushed immediately on the device. So I have another demo, it's called the caster. 
that shows you how this push service can run on the latest product 2.0. So what the customer does is that we have a small plugin written in first, and then we can push this content like image, text, anything by the bottom server on your device. So can I have the video again, please? What you see here is the settings. So you've got a browser, a laptop, a, a normal browser. You have a plugin installed. And then you've got a device there. So let's see. What it currently does is we're trying to find some any blogs or any content on the web. So we're browsing down with this image. And once you have this uh, push service client installed on the browser, you can have this option called send to the phone. So what send phone means, this picture has been sent to the Bada server. And Bada server notices this is by the pushing service. And it's immediately delivered to your device and have this notification bar. And click it, on, automatically launch the according to the application. So the user don't need to go to the menu and, and find the application. So the push service will start immediately launching things for you. Okay, so you can have this picture on your device already and start browsing them. Okay. Good. Can I back to the slides? Okay, let's have a, a little bit of recap. The last one, like I mentioned, is the advertisement service. I quite like this picture. You see the money here. I, I believe that most the developer wants to know where I can get the money from out of my application. So advertisement is definitely a nice feature for you. Okay. So advertisement service on Bada is if you apps hosting those advertisements we provide them to you, and we can give you the revenue share that people people been click, click those advertisements. Okay. So that's all about this uh, service summary on the on the Bada platform. Let's let's go a little bit summary what's been going on this uh, presentation. So we had a little bit overview of this mobile application trend. So I showed you this uh, the one message I want to give, give you today is. The application on the device are not any more focused on device features. You need to find uh, new features, connect to your uh, application on the server, utilize these server-oriented features, make your application really communicating with each other, sharing with each other, each other. So that's really the trend and the part of the popularity apps will be in the short future, that at least I believe. Okay? And we have a little bit of walkthrough and how those different types of service work on some about a location service. So you can have the map very easily integrated in your application, have a little bit of social functions sharing, and get your friends' uh, latest data. And they can also download in the image or sharing the content. And also, the, the most interesting one is that you can really get the direct revenue share from the hosting app. So that's all of my presentation today. I hope it's uh, short and you all grab this idea and concept. And thanks very much. And the follow-on, there will be a question section at the end of the presentation. So I won't take any questions right now. But if you do have any questions, please grab me or I'll wait under the question panel. Thanks very much. Thank you.